I saw a picture of you in that one match. Your whole chest, so your whole chest was just like a deep dark purple. purple. Yeah. I didn't even know you could like tear your pec. How does that even work? Oh, it could happen. And and, and, <laughs> and still still complete a whole match on it. The stupid thing was I've been wrestling for since I was 15 is when I started like pro training, no injuries, felt bulletproof. Walked in the gym, flip-flops on. Flip-flops in the gym, bad sign. Open cup of coffee. A little bit of this real old timer warm up. <laughs> Got on the bench, put on 295. Didn't even warm up. That's a lot. I should, no reason for me to ever be doing, was going for four. <laughs> so, dude at the other side of the gym, you know, it's testosterone filled, just me and this other dude. I have no idea who this man is. I don't know why he's like grimacing at me. I'm like grimacing at him. Now, I'm gonna. You have a spotter? No, now I'm gonna show him. Oh my now god! Now I'm gonna show Cody. him. Like I'm gonna, uh, now I'm, I'm gonna. Dude, he like randomly <laughs> ate Taco Bell last night and had to shit. It had nothing to do so with you. It, it, and the, you the, thought he was like trying to the, show you that. He's like, the plot thickens. He's doing his full CrossFit routine, like taking up the whole jungle gym. It's just me and him in there, and I'm gonna show you, dude. <laughs> I I just unrack it, just unrack it, and it went right away. Oh. It just went. So you hadn't even gone down for. Hadn't one? even gone down. It went like Velcro. They're like, did it pop? Doesn't pop. It went, sh sh and I felt it. Full tear. Full tear. Full tear. Yep. I didn't need to kick the weights off. They flew off. Yep, yep. Then this dude, who I've been having this moment with, runs over. Hey man, are you okay? Your biggest oh enemy. My God. The guy, your biggest enemy. <laughs> hey. I, I didn't have my contacts, and I wanted to see if you needed a spotter. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, I was. I was, and I knew right away. They tell you, hey, go get an MRI, buddy. Like this piece right here it's gone yeah, it you don't sucks. need an mri so like, oh my god you, i did the one doctor i'm doing a zoom with him he's like get into a plank position and it just falls like, zoom. Oh. yeah i'm doing a zoom i'm doing a zoom because i'm so concerned <laughs> like what do i do and it just falls i'm like yeah i don't i don't think i need the mri like i think it's gone you need a bra <laughs> <laughs> and then like the next day is like this big black spot that formed and then it just became kept running like, right dumbledore's hand and like it just was so disgusting like my body Turned was dying thanos dude yeah it was just it was just <laughs> <laughs> so wild <laughs> and my poor wife she's seen like i like i like the violence of what we do but i think there's a limit to what she can handle and just i i had to watch her watch me and our daughter's one years old at the time and like can't really pick her up anymore oh. like oh it was great that it happened because i'd gone that long thinking i was just going to be invincible and I, no way everything has to change now i'm not lifting 295 um, we need to get aminos in the body. We need real trainers. We need re everything. And that was nice to correct and get ready and uh, and kind of reassess as an athlete. But sur surgery, right? You had arthroscopic oh, yeah. surgery, right? They go in, they they yeah. refuse the muscle, basically, or, or sew the muscle. Tie together. it over here. Well, yeah, so, they yeah. tie the muscle so off. That's right. Dr. Dugas, he's an amazing surgeon. Shout Great Dr. name. Dugas. Shout out, Dr. Dugas. 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 Dug. And anyway, so he, uh, he, uh, <laughs> Dug, 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 Dug. I saw the video because they filmed my surgery for my documentary. Like, super awkward. I mean, yeah, yeah. like the gown, it's on backwards. Right, right. You know, like, I, no one, we, you don't want to be filmed in yeah. these moments. Like, we could fake this later, right? <laughs> like, he's like, I saw the footage that most people haven't seen because it's so much blood. He's literally just blood is squirting out of my chest. And he's got, like, looks like kitchen tongs. And he's just yanking <laughs> the muscle, the muscle Ugh. back to the arm, Ugh. and he's showing them because he's like teaching as he goes. Like, see here, I'm, buddy, that's my body. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you showing that? Put me back. <laughs> uh, and then he, he he was a really I can't. I had him. I had Brian Tovin uh, at Sports uh, Rehabilitation in Atlanta, and that was like my little family because I was a hermit after that. I wanted to do what Hunter did when he tore his quad. Just get into nutrition, get into fitness, get as healthy as I can, hide, and come back when they need me back. You really got to put your head down and and convince yourself that it's going to be good and believe that it's going to be good. Yeah, it can be so like damaging, especially if you've never been injured. Mm -hmm. It sounds like this is the first major one. Yep. Did that worry you at all? I mean, it made me feel like so the the pay per view we were going to the Hell in the Cell pay per view. I, as a wrestler, I you're always supposed to be like, oh, I, I've been to the end zone before. I haven't, right? So, I've been close. But I'm going in Hell and Cell, and the poster is this giant photo of me. Yeah, It's the most uh, Peacock new subs for this PLE, this premium live event. They all want to see this Hell in the Cell match with Seth and I. I come out in the arena. I'm, it's just my face on the chairs. And I, what I thought was, yeah, maybe I don't have it. Like, maybe I don't have what John has, you know, Cena, because he was my, my role model when I was here. Um, maybe I don't. Maybe there's a reason it didn't happen. And that's why I was so adamant about... We're not going to do some stupid thing backstage. I'm not, which no knocking that. 
that you should never wrestle injured, but I just would, I, I wasn't going to have it any other way. I had to, I had to have the match at least. How yeah. did you pass WWE's medical exam? Well, it was, it was simple. It was completely torn. There's nothing else that could happen to it. And they were, they so, were cool with it? I, I they think, did so many tests for me before I before oh, I hopped in the ring. Unreal. I told them last night, I, I perforated the eardrum. I mean, this tiny, not like where you can hear it, uh. tiny. They're waiting for me right by the door, got the thing. Like, oh my God, I don't want to be on your list. Uh. Get me off your list. You know, but thankfully, like, we no issues there. That Once I was good and clear that it couldn't get hurt anymore, uh, <laughs> the best the best I could say was like, you got to kind of lie. Like, you know, you guys don't have to go all night. Yeah, no problem. Sure. Bro, they were like, he's fucked anyway. Yeah. Like, let him, let him, who cares? Yeah, but, th- but they were really cool. And I think it was something that Vince and I really had. A, he really, he knew I wasn't going to take no. And he could have, you know, I, I might have had to say, take a no. But I just didn't want to get to it. I it's adamant. And he I had a great conversation with him. And he was really clear about, hey, man, if you're struggling out there, I can't. You, we got to call it. I said, all right, well. It's a struggle always when you're wrestling Seth. It's a struggle when you're in a hell in the cell. But I did understand that, and they let me finish. And um, the referee in the ring, Spider, that's his nickname, he talked to, talked to me the whole time because I was just on Planet Z. Oh, I, yeah, I, was I, that bad? I was just really – I was in shock still because, mm. you know, shock puke where you feel like you're going to vomit, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? You break a bone or whatever. I, uh, I hit something up front and thought, oh, I set right up. And it looked like I set up for the camera shot. I set right up because they go, here it comes. I'm going to throw up, and they're going to instantly ring the bell. Like, <laughs> oh, buddy, he tried. You well, tried, if, man. What, you throw up, you lose? Well, no, I think if, like, if I had thrown up, I think they would have been like, okay. Something's wrong. It's because like, people like watching the car wreck, sure, but not. there's a limit to it. Totally. You know, like, okay, man. like you know, And also, it comes a little bit self-indulgent as a wrestler if you're like, look at me and my pain. You know, I, I, you don't want to be that guy either. Mm-hmm. I just I had to wrestle that match at least. And. I, I was telling people at the press conference last night for WWE, I was like, please don't be mad at all this merchandise that's going to come out with this pec injury. I'm sorry. They like marketing stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't care for it, but, like, I saw a Funko. Oh, uh, sorry. But, yeah, with, like, the the spot. No way. I was like, they, they made a Funko out of it? I don't think I'm supposed to say it, but we can, we, we, we we can, can cut that out. No, <laughs> let it roll. <laughs> <laughs> He's wild. He's wild. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.